YouTube's latest policies regarding AI produced content state that creators must make it clear when realistic content has been altered using AI tools. That said, Google's own Pixel devices, especially the latest Pixel 8 series, include several AI powered editing options among their main features. So, there are people who have wondered if the content generated using the Pixel 8 series AI editing capabilities should be categorized as synthetic content. If you are among them, throughout this video, you will find Find out what is known about it. Before we get to that, if you find this video helpful in any way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as it really motivates us to keep making such content. A few days ago, YouTube team published their policies regarding AI produced content for responsible use of these tools. It should be noted that these policies are still in the early stages since AI has exploded and taken over the world so quickly and they will be modified as the situation develops. According to the post, creators have to disclose when they've created, altered or synthetic content that is realistic which basically includes all content that realistically depicts an event that never happened. Taking those phrases into account, some might have doubts about whether the Google Pixel 8 series AI produced content should be labeled as synthetic content. After all, features like Magic Eraser, Magic Editor or Best Take allow you to modify photos to include people or elements that were never there or even change people's facial expressions. To try to make things a little clearer, Jack Mallon told The Verge that context is very important in determining what kind of content you should label as synthetic. Basically, features like Best Take are safe since what it does is automate and streamline a process that you would have to do manually anyway. In this case, instead of taking multiple photos and then manually choosing one where everyone has a good looking facial expression, the device offers you a short cut to this goal. On the other hand, if you use features like Magic Eraser or Magic Editor to create pictures with realistic situations that never happened, like putting a person in a place they've never been or doing something they didn't do, then you should label that content as synthetic on YouTube. Why? Because being realistic content, there are people who could believe in it, in addition of avoiding potential malicious deception. The line between synthetic content and natural content is likely still blurry for some or many. Widespread use of AI editing tools is relatively recent, so these types of policies will be updated to make them clearer as new situations arise. We have more such videos on our YouTube channel, so be sure to check them out as well and follow us for more. Thank you for watching.